Hello everybody, this is Howler of Howler's Domain, and we are on, uh, actually, up. Oh, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. We are on, uh, Shadow of Mordor. I know this isn't the new one. There's no way this is the new one, because it comes out very later. But, I wanted to do an actual video on a discussion about the new game. Like, talking about the new things that are coming out for it, comparison to the old one and all that. I wanted to do a little bit of a discussion video, because this is the first time I've ever done a discussion video before. So, yeah. You can watch some gameplay while I'm discussing this. <laughs> and I'm playing it right now. I haven't done, I'm not doing like a voiceover or anything on this. Here's what they have to say real quick. <laughs> Okay, he has nothing to say. My troops back to finish you off myself. Huh. Well, we could just watch this. And I think I will. But, main thing I want to discuss about is the strategy system they got for assaulting forts. I've seen a gameplay video on it. They have different types of elements for each captain, I guess you could say, or general or whatever. For assaulting a fort, they have like growl, a wild grog, they have uh, mounted cavalry, they have fire elements on catapults. Oh god, that was quick. Well, I thought it would be all the troops. It was just a duel to the death. Duel resolved. Now we're gonna go kill him or take him over, either one. Power increase. View battle report. Let's see what happened. Does he get an upgrade? Nope. He stays the same. Alright then. Hello! Invulnerable deranged. Yay. Manto! I'm gonna punch you in the neck. And while you're sobbing on the ground, I'm gonna slit out your bowels. Well, that isn't nice. Ow. Oh, goodness. Hold up. Don't let up. I usually don't do head to head combat. I suck at it, majorly. Come on. Uh, are you kidding me? Yeah, I hope the freaking system on the dang climbing is better than this one because this one is just plain out stupid. Climb, damn it. Oh, we got a captain here to help. Sweet! Help me, man! Help me! Damn it! Which button is it again? There we go. Attack! Oh, come on! You're not what the Nicks have put in my blade. Oh, really? Well, fine. Anybody else? Yeah. Whoops, I didn't mean to do it to you. Die! Whoops, sorry. Victory! And that guy ran off. Ew, what new ability do we get? Hit streak goes on well timed attacks. Shoot, I ain't got much left. Oh, sweet. Let's do that. But anyway, the new game looks freaking awesome. And I, I, the main thing I love about uh, the trailer that I've seen is that the big uh, Uruk, or whatever in the world he is, he's freaking huge. He, they have their own accents, and that one I just love to death just because he had the accent and the way he talked. Bright Lord, Dark Lord, what's the difference? Oh, I love that. And they were talking about how um, 
whenever uh, Uruk dies, like you had a favorite captain, for instance, on mine right now, on favorites, I'd say... No! Damn it. Hold up. Messing up on the buttons. It's been a while since I played this game. I would actually have to say my favorite right now is him. Just because of the mask, he looks freaking cool. The Destroyer. <laughs> uh, he's one of my favorites out of all of them. And then they got copies right there. That's stupid one. That's stupid one. Okay, well, yes, that's it out of these. I remember having another one. Where is he? Is that him? Yeah. The mask and everything. I like I like him with a lot of masks on. This one, I haven't seen a mask like this before. Says he's just a veteran war chief, not a legendary. But they have it to where if one of them dies, the equipment you get from them, or the rune, or whatever it is, I forgot which what it is. Whenever they die, it actually leaves their name on the rune or equipment or whatever, and you can remember them. Because a lot of people got apparently a lot of people get attached to their uh, chieftains and or. Uh, captains and war chiefs on here so that's pretty good I like that plus you can actually level up your equipment and you get armor finally we get armor leveled armor finally we oh hello there There's so many new dang powers that you can get to. There's a uh, ice ability that you're able to get. Boom! Burn, bitches. There's an ice ability with the uh, wraith attacks that you can use, like the flurry. It'll freeze them in place to where they can't really move as you're doing the flurry. So that's pretty good. Um, they also have it like a acid bow, I think, and then a. They have it to where you can do a combo attack with the Wraith ability that does like a ground pound, I guess you could say. I don't know. Hang on. Ah, dang it. No. Ah, no. Dang it. That was wrong one. I guess I gotta get a bigger combo or something. But it does like a, gra a Wraith ground pound. Or he just hits the ground and it does like a area of effect thing. And on the video... It done like an acid effect, or not an acid effect, but it did like a fire effect. And that's going to be cool because now Talion's going to have all three elements. Or whatever elements they do have now. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to look for that other guy. Where is he at? Where is he at? Hello? It's not showing me the skull where he's located at. Why not? Show me the general direction, but that isn't really helpful. It says like this way. That isn't helpful. Ugh. Great. Okay, I guess I'll just keep running this way then. Excuse me, coming through. Let me drain you a little bit. I need one more arrow. Thank you. Now go kill him. Start a little battle. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited for the game. I know a lot of y'all are too. And the fact that you can actually have Graugs as artillery, that's pretty dang cool. Plus the dragons. I even seen in one of the videos they have uh, spy you know the little spiders that crawl around in Mordor? If any of you people have played this game, there's little spiders that crawl around here. And apparently you can use them in the siege to daze enemies, I think it is. Whoop, hold up. Hello, buddy. Let me take control of you. Get around faster. Also, you have a giant spear when you're riding one of these. I bet it's going to make combat a lot better. Because it's so hard to hit somebody with a dang sword on top of one of these things. Um... What? I'm not seeing anybody on this. Where are we going here? Trying to find the dang... No, I don't want you to... Oh my god, climb down, please. I really hope the controls are a lot better than this, because this is just wonky and stupid as hell. 
Okay, so this guy's in the damn fort. All right. And yes, I seen the ruin. I'm not gonna go get it. There's just freaking random ruins everywhere. All right, go kill some people. Have at him, buddy. But first, create a little chaos. Charge! Oh God, rip his face off. Whew. Hello, work for me. This is all I really do. I just take over people and I just let them fight for me. Go at him, fellas. No, you don't. Aha! Ow. Who's who? Okay, you got him. Heck yeah! I love having beasts. And another thing is the war chief that you assign to be the uh, lord of the keep, I guess you could say, it, it will change the entire keep depending on what they are. Because they got like feral types, they got mystic types, um, they even have a new cursed element. I think it adds like uh, fear or something. Oh, dang. Thank you, Karagor. Thank you, buddy. I was about to get hit. Move, please. I see an ally, but I don't see the enemy. I did not want to climb, but thank you for doing being stupid. Thank you so much for that. Oh, they're both over here. Oh, dang. Wait a minute. Oh, they're fighting. Yeah, no, you don't. And let's create a distraction. I don't want my freaking captain dying. Can I please move? Hello. Work for me. There's my guy. What happened to the other one? Ah, there you are. I'm going to go let him kill me again, but I'm going to try to burn him or something. Apparently, the Nemesis system is going to be upgraded tremendously on the new one. Because they were showing in the video that there was actually cutscenes. Like, let's say a uh, during a fortress siege, let's go ahead and say a war chief was about to kill you, but you have a Uruk captain that's like a range shooter, and he shoots down and saves you at the last minute. I think it was part of the story, but you you never know. But anyway, why are you causing trouble? You're gonna alert them all, damn it! Uh, great. I need to go this way. Excuse me. Uh, hello. Goodbye. Aha! Burned him. I need to pin him, damn it! I'm vulnerable to range. You should count yourself lucky I got bored before. I may not lose interest so quickly this time. Bring it. Back, you stupid chalk! Take that! I've already foiled you once! Well, they told me to do it, but it wouldn't let me. Are you gonna run now? Nope, you're not gonna run now. Okay. Supposed to be. Next time you will be mine. Okay. Oh, come on, really? Wow. Yeah, you're not killing me. Sorry. See ya. All right, troops, take the rest of them out, please. Oh, my captain's about dead. That ain't good. Yeah, he's gonna die. Dude, why did you... 
you started it. It's not my fault. Wow. That was your stupidity, buddy. Why ain't you guys helping him? There's two of you right here. Go fight him. Dumbasses. Here, have Karagor. Bada boom. Uh, I can't really get into the discussion video, into the discussion because I'm enjoying this too much. But uh, uh, dang it. What else was I wanting to talk about? Um, go away, you little shit. Yeah, there's that pound attack. That's what I was actually talking about. Can you seriously not climb right there? Wow, you are stupid. Can you not jump in there? Wow, you're stupid. Jump that way? Jump this way? Okay, good. Excuse me. Wow, you even get stuck on a barrel. I really hope they fix all that shit. There's still glitchy parts where you get stuck on here too much. There's just, there's just so much new stuff they're going to be adding to it. The game's going to be twice as good. All the dang forts. And apparently, whenever you capture a fort, you can get money from the fort, I do believe. There's going to be like a money system in it. So I'm looking forward to that too, because you have to spend money to actually use the uh, siege weapons and stuff like that. Hello, work for me. Hello. Yes. Goodbye. All right, now go fight them. You shall abide. Go fight them. Get away from me. I'm bored with you. I need to talk more about the game. Really, really looking forward to this dang new game. I keep saying it, but I am. It's so exciting. You actually get to battle a freaking fortress. Have an entire army. Before, you just had the freaking last very last thing you could do with the chieftains in the story mode and then that was pretty much it you just had the four war chief war chiefs helping you out and that was it there wasn't like this massive big army or anything you keep it says you're recruiting p people from Sauron's army well where's the army exactly now they finally made it to where you can have a literal army in front of a fortress and take it over they said you also had to defend a fortress from uh, Sauron's counterattacks. So, I haven't seen any gameplay on that from any of the other uh, YouTubers and stuff that have done it or got exclusive access or whatever. Just watch his head roll. Ooh, is it going to go in the water? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, it disappeared. No fair. I'm going to jump in the water. Whee! Really? Stupid game. Yeah, it just seemed like this one was a little bit, uh... It was good for its time, but now it's not so good. But, this is... I've literally discussed nothing about the dang new game. Ugh. It's supposed to cover a lot more than just two maps as well. Every single fort is a map, and from what I've seen, I think we get like five of them. So we're getting even there. We're getting more than twice as much of the maps. So that's going to be exciting. I ain't got no images or nothing I can pull up on this stupid crap because I still ain't good at editing yet. I still ain't. I've been using the stupid YouTube editor. I still need to learn more and. I'm hoping I can, but eventually I will. Uh, let's see, what else is there to discuss? Uh, let's see, the elements, the fortress, the keeps, the war chiefs. Um, oh yeah, you can also call in your own personal bodyguard, which the war chiefs on here had up to two or three bodyguards at once. Now you can have your own personal bodyguard, and every time you do this, uh, there's nobody nearby for me to do it. It's the thing where you make them attack other people. Let me see if I can find one. There's two over here. Let me take over one and just do that. We should have extra warriors guarding 
Hello. Work for me. Against your will. Now, this. That right there is going to be used in the new one to summon your, uh, uh, what did I just say? The bodyguard, yeah. It's going to be used to summon the bodyguard, and the Lord of the Keep, I seen on the gameplay that somebody summoned him during a battle with the Lord of the Keep, because there's a whole bunch of Uruks that help him, and he has, like, traps and throne set up, the throne room is set up just to his exact design, the way he likes it. And it, it was just badass. It, if I find the video again, I might put a link in the description below just so y'all can go watch it. Because, I mean, I want y'all to go watch that shit. It is freaking awesome. I'm so looking forward to this game. I don't want too many spoilers, but I want to, I want to know more. That's the bad thing about me because every time I see a new game and I'm so excited and hyped for it, I'll try to find out as much as I can before I play it. I actually done that with this one, and I found out too much. I didn't find out the story, but I found out too much about like the game mechanics and everything that you could do, like riding a freaking Grog. That was the best part, I would say. And a Karagor. But yeah, I found out too much about this game Shadow of Mordor and it ended up being not as good when I played it so spoilers really do ruin a game if you guys want to watch that video I'll look it up I'll put it in the description below but warning big spoilers very big spoilers plus I think it's another YouTube channel that done it I know that's getting traffic away from my channel but I want you guys to see it it is awesome but uh, before these guys come and kill me, I'm going to end the episode here. So, uh, bye. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below what you thought of this episode. I know it was boring, but, eh. I had to think of something today. I needed a gap in between, uh, Legend of Zelda and Paper Mario. That's the main thing. This is just a gap filler for that day. <laughs> But thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below what you thought of this episode, subscribe to join the pack, and as always, everybody, have a howling good time. Oh!